Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Feel free to submit any request to Tinkernut.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can encrypt folders and files so that you can securely transport them or store them. This is going to use a free program called TrueCrypt which is available for Windows and Macintosh systems. So just open up a web browser and go to TrueCrypt.org click on the downloads link at the top and then click on the download button and just save the file to your computer and whenever it's completely downloaded just run through the automated setup utility and after it's through installing just click finish and it should have created a shortcut on your desktop so you can minimize everything and what we want to do first is create a new folder uh, to store our encrypted volumes and I'm just going to call this encrypted files. So after you create a folder just uh, start up TrueCrypt and select create volume and just click next for the first two steps and then on the third step it says select a file so I'm going to select the folder we created and then just type in a name for the volume. I'm going to call this my files and then click save and then the next step has you select an encryption algorithm I'm just going to use the default but you can select whatever you want for that and then it has you create a volume size I'm going to choose 50 megabytes but depending on what you're storing in it you can set it for whatever you want the next option is to create a password I'm creating a very simple one but you can make yours uh, more uh, secure if you want and then the last step is to select a file volume. I'm going to set mine to NTFS and then click format and it will create the volume, the my files volume. So after that you can click on exit and then choose select file to select the volume and just navigate to the folder that we created on the desktop and I'm going to select my files which is the volume we just created and then once I click the mount button it's going to ask me for the password I created and then it's going to mount this volume as if it were a hard drive and it's you can see here that it's stored as drive H so if I were to go to my computer I would see drive H there and if I open that up I can drag whatever I want to it whether it be pictures or videos documents Excel spreadsheets uh, anything that I want and it's going to encrypt it in that volume. Um, so as long as you have it open you can use it but if you click dismount here or if you exit out of the program and right click on the icon and select dismount all volumes nobody can access it. If you go to my fu to encrypted files and try to access it you won't be able to. Well that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.